And what Euphoria is, is it's a system that allows us to give our characters biomechanical AI. It literally infuses them with a central nervous system, uh, a brain and a spinal cord and a nervous system and even muscles that allow them to act by reflex. So as Adam throws some stormtroopers up here, what you'll see is they'll try to protect themselves. They know that they're being thrown kind of into to empty space there and that they're about to fall to their deaths unless they can grab onto some of these beams. So they'll actually try and grab on, they'll try and grab onto one another as well. And this is all simulation based. None of this is being driven by animation, uh, which is again, uh, really cutting edge technology here. And not something that you'll see in any other games except for LucasArts games. And there you can see uh, an example of a behavior of two stormtroopers grabbing onto one another. Again, that, that sense of self-preservation as they try to protect themselves from that fall. Now the other thing to observe here is not only do we have characters interacting with the environment in a very realistic way, but the environment knows about those characters. So these guys know that there's that beam that they can grab on to, but the beam also knows about them. So as those stormtroopers grab a hold of the beam, the beam will actually splinter under their weight and bend and the stress will actually show and eventually they'll break. So again, our games are not just about having you know really entertaining and high fidelity interactions with the environment or with characters, but also having those other characters interact with the environment in meaningful and high fidelity ways.